How to make a mixtape in Ableton. In my previous video about mixtapes, I talked about the differences between mixing live and mixing in software. In this video, I'll dive into Ableton Live specific, how to make a DJ mixtape or a mashup in Ableton Live. So let's take it away. If you like the content, consider supporting me on Patreon. My name is Dexter Clark and I do reviews, vlogs and tutorials about DJing and producing. If you like, you can subscribe to my mailing list, you will get every new video in your email. As I mentioned in the beginning, I made a special video about making mixtapes live versus software. If you didn't watch that video, you can do that now. I will expand that knowledge, that information of that video in this video, but zoomed in on Ableton Live. Ableton Live is hands down the easiest software to make a mixtape with of all the software that I know. Aligning to the grid and tempo adjusting is just so easy in Ableton Live. Every door also Ableton uses tracks. Each track represents a layer in the music. I use the arrangement view and not the session view. I use the two track approach so I can mix between those two tracks. Those two tracks represent your CDJ players of your regular DJ mixer. If track A is playing you can mix in track B and if track B is playing you can use track A to mix in. I'll add two more tracks, so a total of four for extra convenience. So I have two tracks to mix, one for sound effects and one for previewing. The preview track I use to listen to the song without any applied effects that are manipulated with automation and I can cut up the track if I need to or if it's necessary. You can right click on the existing track that Ableton conveniently creates for you and then choose create track or you can use the shortcut Apple T. We don't need the default created MIDI tracks. So delete them and give the tracks a good name that represents their respective function. Next I'll adjust the tempo of the project. Make sure that it is somewhere in the middle of the fastest and the slowest track. The tracks that you want to mix should be not far from each other in tempo because you have to stretch or compress the audio too much which results in a hearable quality loss. I use Recordbox to see how fast the tracks are and in which key. Then I am adding a limiter from the plugin section on the left side of the screen. In this case I use the Pro L from Fab Filter because I like it so much. But the stock filter from Ableton Live will do the trick just fine. I add the limiter to the master channel. The master channel is the last thing that comes out of your DAW, so adding a limiter will limit all the sound of your DAW. A brick wall limiter limits the volume of the sound when it exceeds a certain limit. This prevents clipping and of course blowing up your speakers. Notice that two tracks combined together makes the volume twice as loud, so 6 dB. Plugins of a selected track are shown at the bottom of the screen in Ableton Live. A limiter can help you eliminate peaks in your sound, but you also have to make sure that you put the volume of each track down to prevent that the limiter has to work too hard, which again will decrease the audio quality. Next I add an equalizer to both mixing tracks. With an equalizer I can do a high pass and a low pass filter effect. I use the Pro Q from Fab Filter again because I like it. And the stock equalizer EQ3 from the audio effects section will do the trick just fine. Now drag in the first two tracks that you want to mix. You can do that from Finder. When importing a song in Ableton, Ableton will try to determine the tempo of the track. This is a guess, but not always correct. Double click on the clip header that displays the details of the clip at the bottom of the screen. Make sure that the BPM of the track is set correct and that the option Warp is selected. Warp means that Ableton will stretch or compress the track to fit into the tempo of the project. 
Align the first track with the project. You can use the metronome to help you. And align the second track with your first track so you can mix in. Your song will align with the grid but sometimes it's necessary to give it a little nudge or cut it at a point that is not aligned with the grid. You can disable the snap to grid option in the options menu. Now the automation. Press A to go into automation mode. You can undo the automation mode by pressing A again. But we want to mix in the automation mode so don't press the A for the second time. Automation mode enables you to change certain parameters like volume and frequencies for equalizers over time. Select the plugin you want to use and in my case that's the equalizer. Open the plugin and change the value you want to change. In this case it's a band of the equalizer. Now you can see in the pull down menu which parameter you changed. Select the parameter you want to automate, in this case the frequency of the first band. I do not only want to have a low cut filter but also a high cut filter. So I'll add a second band to the equalizer and select the frequency. I also want to have the ability to change the volume of the track. Therefore I use the utility plugin from Ableton itself. You can see multiple automations of parameters at once by adding an automation lane. To do that, select the parameter automation from the pull down menu and click the add button. You can add a keyframe by clicking on the point on a line, drag it around or double click to remove it. This is the actual mixing part, which takes up the most time. Apply high and low cut filters, volume or even add echo or reverb. Now add another song to the preview track of your project. Make sure it's set to the right tempo and cut it to the point where you want it to start. Then drag the song to mixing track A or B in the project. If you last used track B then drag your song into track A. Bear in mind that the automations of effects like volume and high cut and low cut filters still apply. Reset the parameters to the right volume to mix them in. And add sound effects like risers or bass drops if you like that last bit of perfection. And of course drag in more tracks to the preview track and do the same thing all over again and all over again. Mixing techniques for doors for mixtapes you can find in my previous video about mixtapes. Also, if you like, then you can subscribe to the channel. And if you like, you can even subscribe to my mailing list so you will receive every new video in your inbox. Thank you for watching. Bye!